Alright, how much is this gonna do? All of it. Nice. I don't know why Quagsira has already become our, um, ace, but I, I think that's karma for how much I've complained about this mon in the past. <laughs> it's just like, oh yeah, your least favorite Pokemon? Well, we're gonna make it your ace. Take that, dick. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Leaf Green Randomized ABC Nuzlocke. My name is Hector Camille here in episode 5, and in the last episode we got ourselves a bunch of new encounters after going through some trainers in the route right before Mount Moon, and we are going to be going into Mount Moon, going through, fighting off some Team Rocket, and getting ourselves to Cerulean. So if you are excited for all of that to happen, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps out the channel, you'll be able to catch every single episode of not only this series, but every other series on the channel as they come out. But um, before we go and do all of that, I want to do a quick team recap because I have really, uh, I've been playing a couple days and also um, I need to get to know these new members of the team uh, before they get bumped off by other mons. But <laughs> especially Ol Olafossil because that's an Anorith and we're going species Z to A, so that's going to be the first one to get knocked off. But for now, we're going to go do a quick team recap just to see what our abilities are, what our mons look like, all that good jazz. So, first up we have Margo Truck the Gulpin, level 12, uh, with the Pressure ability, and the moves Pound, Yawn, and Poison Gas. Next up we have our starter, Glatavo the Slack Off, with the Shell Armor ability. Uh, people in the comments have let me know that uh, Shell Armor blocks critical hits. I think I noticed that in the last episode, but it would have been really useful to know in the first gym battle. We'll have to remember that for future reference, but... Uh, they have Shell Armor, and the moves Scratch, Yawn, Encore, and Slack Off. We have Quagsira, the Quagsire. Um, the Lightning Rod ability, which is really useful, um, especially in double battles. Granted, those aren't going to happen very often. Um, and the moves Water Gun, Tail Whip, and Slam. We have one of our first new ones, Queenie, the Clefairy. Um, with the Minus ability, useless, but at least it doesn't hurt us. Uh, level 7 and the moves Pound, Growl, and Encore. We've gotten a bunch of mons that just have Pound and some variation of Pound, Encore, Yawn, or all of the above. <laughs> so, uh, after that we have Coal Fire, the Typhlosion, Sandstream ability, not great, but we'll have to deal with that. Uh, and level five with the moves Tackle, Leer, Smokescreen, and Ember. And then finally we have Olafossil, the Anorith, with the Effect Spore ability, and the moves Scratch and Harden. So, overall, uh, the ones that I'm really that I'm really gonna probably rely on are Coalfire, Quagsira, and Glitavo. Um, hopefully, we can keep all three of them on the team uh, moving forward. For now, we're fine. Um, especially considering Anorith and then Gulpin are gonna be the or, and then Clefairy are gonna be the first two that get bumped off, and they're my least favorites. So, uh, thus far, we are pretty set in terms of our team order. I don't think it's gonna uh, cause too many issues, but. We're, obviously, we're going to have to spin once we beat the second gym, so that might be a bit of an issue. Um, I think I want to put Coal Fire up front and do some switch training, uh, because I want to get my Typhlosion up to level. Um, that should be a good plan moving forward. So, um, should I buy repels is the question. I don't have any right now. Um, I should have a decent amount of money, right? I have a decent amount of money, so I might actually go back and buy some repels. So I'll be right back. Oh, shoot. I didn't know that was a trainer. Whatever. We'll fight. Oh, why? Why? Uh, coal fire. Oh, actually, that's not helpful. That is helpful. Um, coal fire is way too weak to do to take this on. Even though it's super effective, I do not trust in the least. So let's go into Quagsira. Um, it won't be buffeted by the hail, or the, not the hail, the, uh, sand, sandstorm. Um, we are neutral with ice, so that should be fine. And we can do some decent damage with it, with Quagsira, so. Good. This is a good strategy. Powder Stove does 10 damage. So a crit would do 20, we're fine here. Even a high roll crit won't do 
anywhere near enough to kill us. <sighs> that does nothing. I feel like the buffeting does more than, <laughs> than my water gun does. Uh, okay. I don't trust the not a crit to not kill here, so... We will um, heal up here. And let the buffeting do more. Luckily, um, there's not too much of a worry. Because uh, it's only one Mon. It's not like this battle's going to be really long and drawn out. And we fought most of the other trainers uh, in this route, so we should be fine. Getting back after this. I really should probably buy more potions, too. Because I only got three left. Really wasn't planning on... Ooh. Uh, is this going to do a lot? Okay, it does less than Powder Snow. That's good. Alright. This is going <laughs> to... Eventually, we'll, we'll take it down. So. Um. Hmm. No, I don't know why I'm even thinking of switching out. Let's see. We'll just use another potion just to be safe. We can buy more once we get back to uh, Pewter. And... We should be fine. Crit of either of those moves won't kill. So, water gun, and then if even if this doesn't kill, the the uh, sandstorm will. Doink. Goodbye. And we get some good experience on Coalfire and Quagsira, so that's good. Hey, there we go. Level 6 and 7. Way to go, Coalfire. Wow. Nice. Dang. I will take it. Holy cow. Up to level 9 already? Alright, well, that was actually helpful. Alright, now I'm going to cut and get some potions and re uh, repels. I'll be right back again. Alright, we're back. And I got myself some repels. I got myself some potions. I bought myself a few antidotes as well. We are all set for this trip into Mount Moon. So we'll use one of our repels and go straight into the cave. Although, maybe I shouldn't have coal fire up... Actually, we should be fine with coal fire up front. It's level 9. It should be high enough. Um, horn attack. Who can learn that? That'd be very useful. Let's see. Horn attack. Come on. Yes! Perfect. We're definitely giving it to Glutavo. We'll get rid of... This does jab with a strike with one horn to inflict damage. We could just get rid of Scratch, I guess. Um, we could also get rid of Encore, but maybe maybe en Encore actually would be helpful. So we'll get rid of Scratch. We only really need one stab uh, normal move on Glutavo anyway. Good stuff. And... Let's see. Oh, shoot. I did not mean to fight you. All right, Magmar. Coal fire probably shouldn't handle this. Um, we'll go into Quagsira for this because Water Gun is super effective. Um, I really wish I had another Mon that has um, weather negating abilities because this is going to be annoying to have to constantly face. That does that. Honestly, it's like a decent enough ability to have for, like, on its own, but the fact that I'm going to be switching in and out of Mons makes it kind of annoying and bad. Alright, and one more Water Gun should do the trick, because I don't think the Sandstorm's going to do enough here. Yeah. Okay, Ember, that's fine. Perfect. Goodbye. Okay, who's next? Who dares face the wrath of Quagsira? <laughs> Ooh, Doug Trio. Perfect. We can use another water gun on this. Only thing is, the Sandstorm's not going to do anything to this either. Um, it's also probably faster than us, so. Uh, we're fine. This is neutral. Yeah, we're good. Okay. We're super effective on this thing. Goodbye. Whew! Good stuff. Hey, Quagsire's already level 16. Look at that. 
And we learned Mud Shot, finally. A stab ground move. Do, 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 do. Grab this item. A zinc, we can sell that. Can we get anything from over here? No. Ah, shoot. Um, let's just run. All right, we'll dodge around you. Um, on the bright side, we know that we can just run away from all of these things, because it's probably only the Anorith that is high enough level to even have the option. Go down here now. Anything over this way? Okay. Another rappel. So I'm thinking we try and, like, speed run our way through this cave, because there's really not much point in doing too much grinding. Um, and we're gonna have to fight against Team Rocket anyway, so might as well, right? Ooh, I should have bought uh, an escape rope or two. Oh, well. I can exit out back. Ooh. You taunt me with my dead uh, previous starters. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, go back and check out the Pokemon Moon FIFO Lock, uh, my most recent series other than this one. Um, our starter was a mill tank that we named Mommy. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah, it's it's about as, as much as you'd expect. Um, <laughs> all right, let's go into Glatavo. We should be able to handle whatever this thing has. Put it to sleep if necessary. That's actually fine. Um, both of us are going to be buffeted by the hail. Uh, I keep trying to say hail. Sandstorm. All right, yawn. You can raise your defense all you like. I'm just going to put you to sleep so that you can't do anything to us. So far, it's only used Growl and Defense Curl, though, so... Now, I think what we'll do is we'll go into Quagzyra, because special attack is what Water Gun is using, so... It doesn't even matter that we uh, it has a Defense Curl up. Unless it has, like, a way to raise its special defense, we're fine. do 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 all right, good stuff. Now we will water gun it until it's dead. I'm just kind of speed up because oh, hello. Uh, that's not great. I think we should go into coal fire in this situation. Probably right, because grass. Even though this is level eleven, we're still fine. Um, I'm glad that I didn't get caught in uh, speed up too much. Alright. Uh, Ember should do the trick, right? Goodbye. Okay, good. That made me a little nervous that it sent out a grass type against uh, Quagzyra, because Quagzyra is super weak to grass. It makes me very nervous. Alright, back to Miltank. We'll go back to Quagzyra. And we'll just uh, keep sending water guns at it its way. Alright, there we go. Goodbye. One more. Beedrill. Um... Coal fire is probably the option here, right? Um, Ember will do good damage. It'll get buffeted by the, the Sandstorm. And then... It probably doesn't have anything for us, so... Good. Fury attack. Haha, <laughs> you missed. That's what you get. That's what you get. Alright, one more ember should do the trick. Goodbye. Thank you very kindly for the experience and the money that you're going to be giving me. And just like that, Coal Fire's already gained a bunch of experience and gotten up to par. Alright. So we are all set with that trainer. Grab this item real quick. Oh, this isn't even the right way. Oh, yes! Red Flute, though. Um, that is Confusion or... Infatuation. Okay. Confusion, I think, is yellow. Yeah, yellow is Confusion, blue is uh, Sleep, and then red is Infatuation. Alright, so I'm going to head out 
Ah, crap. Oh, man. I could have had a Growlithe. I guess we already had a fire type on the team, but still. Um, this thing has self-destruct most likely, so we'll just run. Good stuff. All right, so I'm going to go heal, sell that zinc, get myself an escape rope or two, and then continue onward. So I will be right back again. All right, we're back. And all set to go back into Mount Moon. Um, it'll be... We got my, more potions, we got more repels, more, a couple of escape ropes. We are all set overall. So I think we are fine to continue on our travels. I think this is the way we need to go? Maybe? Uh, I think this is correct. Grab this. Bone Rush. Um, I don't know if that's good or not. We'll check. We'll use a Repel real quick, and then if not, we can always just sell it. I don't like that the TMs are in a TM case in this game. User strikes a the foe with a bone in hand two to five times. Uh, that accuracy is really not good. Who can learn it, though? Glutavo and Queenie. Eh. I kind of want to just sell it for money. I think we need money, money more than that move. I guess this is not the, the way to be going. Alright. Well, I'm going to avoid that rocket grunt. If we don't need to fight him. I'm going to try and dodge as many trainers as possible, actually. So we'll go grab this item. A lepaberry. Oh, that's good. That'll uh, heal up PP. And now... Down this way. Alright, so we're making good progress. I am happy with um, how quickly uh, coal fire is growing. That is definitely helpful. Um, and we are going to be able to get through this cave pretty easily, I think. Unless we run into another trainer that has a bunch of uh, legendaries or something like that. Alright. Um... Ride on. Well, I'm gonna run from you. That would have been another good mod to have. Oh well. Alright. So, um, what fossil do you think I should grab? The uh, left one or the right one? I'm kind of thinking left because I'm left handed. I might just do that. Let's do that. Alright, I guess we have to fight this guy, so hopefully he doesn't have anything too bad. Okay, two mons, that's fine. Shepard is the first one. Hmm. Now, I have to be careful because this thing has <laughs> curse most likely. And if you don't remember from previous episodes, curse has been a bit of a curse to me. <laughs> Alright, whatever. We don't have any items on us, so it doesn't matter. And what or ever should do the trick. Goodbye. Beautiful. Alright, uh, so Viper. So that is Poison type. So let's go into Quagzyra. And we'll use uh, Mudshot for the first time. Should be fun. Um, I should check Quagzyra's stats again. See um, whether it's more of a physical or a special attacker or a mix. Because ground is obviously going to be um, physical... And water is going to be special, so it needs to be a mix if it's, we're going to use it as both a water and a ground type. Darn it. Got the flinch on us. No flinch. No flinch. Thank you. All right. How much is it going to do? All of it. Nice. Do, 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 do. I don't know why Quagzyra has already become our um, ace, but... I, I think that's karma for how much I've complained about this mon in the past. <laughs> it's just like, oh yeah, your least favorite Pokemon? Well, we're gonna make it your ace. Take that, you dick. <laughs> Alright, so I think that let's look at our stats. That's what I wanted to do. So it's actually, yeah, it is a, a mixed um, attacker, so that's fine. It is slightly higher in attack, um, but I think that we're fine either way. I'm gonna put this up here, at least. 
All right. Um, I think we're... Let me move... Whoop, nope. Ember. Ember. Up top. Holy cow. <laughs> there we go. And I think we're good there. Pound. That's fine. That's fine. And that's fine. Okay. Good business right there. Oh, there's the uh, professor already. Let's go to it. Hello. Hey, stop. I found these fossils. They're both mine. Oh, no. That's just greedy and selfish. Super nerd Miguel. Oh, Smeargle. Um, here's what I am going to do. It is going to have only sketch, right? So I think what we should do is we should give it not smokescreen because that'd be really annoying. Actually, what we can do is we can just make it struggle by switching. So we'll switch into Glitavo. Oh, never mind. It has Shadow Tag. I guess we will leer it so that it only uses leer. Yep, now it has leer. But it doesn't have anything else, so that's not going to do anything. Take that, haha. -ha. Now you can just lower my defense over and over again. And I'm going to kill you with Ember. Ooh, and we got the burn off too. Nice. That's fine. Once this is out, we can just switch out of coal fire and we're going to get rid of the um, lower defense anyway. So, no biggie. Alright, I played that well, I think. Killing artists left and right, apparently. <laughs> oh, here's another one. <laughs> um, I think what we'll do is we'll switch into Ola Fossil. And then we'll switch into... Quagzyra or Coal Fire. Because this thing is only going to have uh, Scratch and Harden. And we can just switch into Quagzyra, get a super effective water attack on it, and it'll be fine. Alright, so we'll just do Scratch, get a little bit of damage off, transform, there we go. And now we switch into Quagzyra. I think we are. This 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 uh trainer has nothing but mons that try to steal what we have. We're fighting ourselves. We're fighting mirror uh mirror Ectric right now. <laughs> it's just got it's got a a sketching mon. It's got a transforming mon. What's next? A mimicking mon? We get another one of those pseudo udos with a uh, mimic. That'd be funny. I'm wondering what uh, Mirror Extra would, would look like. Would it just be me, except uh, with, like, I don't know, like, <laughs> a, a black uh, lab coat? I'm trying to imagine it. <laughs> Caesar. Um, Coal Fire should be able to handle this. Alright, we're gonna t get buffed. And Emmer should do good damage. Hopefully kill. I think it's quad effect, right? Yeah. We're good. Alrighty! That last one didn't even get a chance to mimic or anything stupid like that. We killed it before it even had the opportunity. Alright, give me one of these fossils. Thank you. Alright, we'll each take a fossil. No being greedy. Um, do we want the helix? Or the dome. I think we gotta go with dome because I'm left handed and it's on the left. So we'll go with the dome fossil. Unfortunately, we don't get the encounter just yet because um, we have to get to what's it called? Uh, the one where Blaine is to be able to actually get the encounter. Oh, an elixir. Neat. Okie dokie. I think we are all set. There we go. No more repels either. Well, these guys teach us stuff, right? Let's see. Punch him! Roaring ferocity! Packed with destructive power. When the chips are down, Mega Punch is the ultimate attack. You agree, yes? Now, let me teach it to your Pokemon. Alright. Who's learning it? Um. Let's see. Mega... Is it actually going to be Mega Punch? 
I kind of think it's not, but we'll try it. Let's see. Yes, let's see what it's actually going to be. It is actually Mega, Mega Punch. Um, hmm. I guess I could get rid, rid, get rid of Encore for this. I don't see myself using Encore all that much. Alrighty. Cool. So we've got... Mega Punch, and then this one's probably going to be stuck with uh, whatever it is. Mega Kick, usually. Who can learn Mega Kick? Uh, same mods. Uh, let's give... Uh, maybe... Queenie? Let's give Queenie Mega Kick. Now we are soulmates in the way of kicking. You should run before you've, you're seen by the deluded nitwit who trains only simple punching over there. <laughs> I like how they're just, like, really mean to each other. Any items over here? No. No. Okay. So, we got ourselves some in uh, some new trained moves. We got ourselves uh, through Mount Moon. It has been a good trip thus far, I'd say. Let's grab ourselves some items. Get ourselves... Ooh, Aurora Beam. Grab ourselves some, some items. Get some... Uh, get ourselves to Cerulean, and then... We'll be all set. Alrighty. We've made it to Cerulean. Yay. Let's go heal. Um, I think we will get ourselves one more encounter before we uh, call it an episode. Because we're going to need to grind our team a little bit more before we take on the rival battle up top. Because I think they have like level 18s. And I don't trust my team to be able to defeat that. So... Is there anything we want to sell? I don't think there... Oh, wait. Um, one of the champs I think we wanted to sell. Yeah, Bone Rush. Good stuff. Alright, let's get ourselves that last encounter over... Um, and probably get rid of Anorith if we catch it. Unless it's... I don't know. Uh, what mod is... The, the, I guess AD... AB... A Abra? Or Absol or something like that? Unless we get something like that, it's most likely Anorith that's going to be bumped off. Curlia. Okay. Well, that will be actually added to the team. Um, I think we just have to chuck balls, especially now that we've got the Sandstream. Because <laughs> I think this thing has teleport, so probably wasn't smart to have Cold Fire up front, unfortunately. But we'll chuck a ball. Hopefully it'll catch. If not, we're going in with this team that we have currently. Two... Three. There we go. We got ourselves a curly uh Woo! Alright, so what are we gonna name this thing? Gotta switch over to our spinner for the first time. And spin What do we got? N. It has to start with an N. It's a guy, Curlia. Um it looks like a look like a ballerina. Um, so a, some sort of dancer that starts with an N that is a guy, usually. Uh, hmm. I don't know why Ned keeps coming into my mind. Ned sounds like, I don't know. Eh, Ned. Uh, <laughs> Ned Dance? <laughs> sure, why not? Ned Dance. That's... Oh, Ned, yeah, Ned Dance. <laughs> Sounds a little bit like Bob Vance, Vance Refrigeration from The Office, so we'll go with Ned Dance. Um, and we have to actually add that to the team, because it is our uh, newest team member over Anorith. So unfortunately, uh, Ola Fossil got bumped off the team. We now have Ned Dance in, the, in their place. Alright, so someone's PC. Let's move it on to the team. And I think we are all set for this episode. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I had a lot of fun with it. And if you did, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps out the channel. And you'll be able to catch every single episode of not only this series, but every other series on the channel as they come out. But regardless, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.